Hello everyone, this is Connie from It's Our Time Now. And today I want to talk to you about not getting clogged. You might think, what does that have to do with the Word of God? Well, hopefully I can explain what I mean and it'll make sense to you. The first thing that comes to mind is my bathroom sink. It's always getting clogged. And I know the reason it gets clogged. It's because of hair and grease. I put things down the drain that don't belong down the drain. And it slows the process of water going down and eventually becomes ineffective. And I have to put some Drano in there or worse than that, call the plumber. So when you don't put in or you put in the drain what doesn't belong in the drain, then you have a problem. The other area I can think of that gets clogged sometimes is our system. When we eat food that is not good for us on a regular basis, our system gets clogged, we don't feel good, and our digestive system doesn't work as it should. And again, it's the, the reason is because we put the wrong thing down there, it works slow, and it doesn't work at its optimum capacity. So that's in the natural. Now I can go over to the spiritual side. When we get clogged is when we spend our time listening to things that are not edifying to God, when we listen to gossip, when we don't stay in the Word, we slow down. We don't function like we need to function. We don't hear God like we need to hear God. It's because we have all this other junk in our pipeline and we're not working at full capacity. But it can be changed. What we can do is start listening to the Word more and cut back or cut out altogether the gossip and the conversations that don't edify God. And that's when we'll be able to hear God clear. And when we hear God clear, we can do what God says. And when we do what God says, we can have what God says we can have. I hope this has blessed you. None of us want to be clogged. So let's do the right thing so we can hear God and go on and live a fulfilled life. I hope you are encouraged. I'm encouraged. Stay blessed. And remember, it's our time. Thank you.